Hi everyone, welcome back to Science with Miss Wardell. Today I'm on page 405. This is lesson four. We're talking about what's climate? What is climate? Well, um, climate really talks about weather, right? It, and we're going to find more about it. Um, this photo deter helps us can to determine our climate. So looking at this photo, what do you notice is the difference between the snow-covered mountains and the flat plains shown in the photo? So here it says, engage your brain. Find the answer to the following question in the lesson and record it here. The giraffes can live in warm places. How can there be snow near a giraffe's home? That's a great question because looking at this page, I'm sitting here thinking, how do I know what climate is? How do I have the different snow and the warm plains? What's happening? Well, in fact, um, I hope that you make your own notes, but also notice how tall that mountain is. I mean, it's not right down here with the drive. It's way up in, up towards the sky, isn't it? It's a very tall mountain. And the higher you go, the colder it gets. Because the higher we go, and if we leave the atmosphere, just like in space, it gets cold. Right? So, the closer you are to the ground, the warmer it is. So, we could even say... The mountain is very tall. And the higher you go, the colder the climate. So where the giraffe is, it's really, really warm. It is. Climate is just different weather. That's all it is. So what is climate? It's different weather. So it's warmer towards the ground where the giraffe is. climate is, is it's different weather. That's all it is. It's the difference in weather, whether it's the snow-covered mountains, the warm plains, whatever. Okay? A few vocabulary words that we're going to be talking about within this lesson when we talk about climate. Well, of course, climate. But we know it's the different types of weather. We're going to be talking about climate zone. We're going to be talking about equator. And latitude. All right, guys. So, as we use this unit, make sure you look at some of the visual aids. So, a map can add information to the text or on the page. For example, here we don't have a map, but we have a visual of what the mountain looks like and the giraffe. It helps us to understand that the mountain is really tall, really far away, um, and that the giraffe is much closer to the ground. Active readers pause their reading to study maps and decide how their information adds 
to the text. Alright guys, I will see you next time. Goodbye.